So in this episode, we are going to see how we can pass the data from the component to the view. In the last episode, we have seen how we can pass the data from the parent to the component, but this time reversed. Okay, so with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about many things like Laravel, View, Sublime and many things. So if you are interested in these kind of things, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's get started and as usual, let's create the 10th one. So this is the 10th. Okay, so for this one, let's see what we have done on the last episode in the last episode we have seen this when i click on the add button you can see this one is this blue button is inside the components and it's getting the event so we are passing the data from our parent to the component but now we have to do reverse thing so suppose you have a text box so i will create a text box here like input simple and let's get, just give a class of form control so that it will look nice let's see how it's look like yes so here it is and let's do one more thing delete these ul because we don't need these things here okay so we have this text box and let's say i have a text box inside my component so here is my text box inside component so here it is so what we can do instead of taking these inside the div let's just remove this div and give here a label so that we can see uh, I think we have to give <laughs> a div here because we are going to use the label and whenever you we are using more than one element then we have to grab all these things inside div because component template must have one element so you can see the div is only one these two are inside the div so if i remove these two div it will give error okay so let's see i will say here component input box okay same thing for here yes and let's see now yes so this one is not component let's call it parent or simply outside input box okay so what we are going to do whenever i type in this input box i want everything to be displayed here so let's see the usual approach whenever we are doing what we want we want to have some value here and now we have to give this v model here so this will be v value so whenever i type here the value on the main root we have defined the value will going to change so let's open view tab and on the root you can see the value is nothing having no, no value whenever I hit here it's now changing so this is very basic thing for view but we want to have some changes here on the component box and that should reflect here so what actually component do in the last episode we have seen that parent can only pass props to the component that means the properties but component can only emit the event so let's see how we can emit some event so for the input box we have to use v on input and whenever i call this input that means whenever there is a change in the input we have to say like uh, simply call change so now we have to create a method called change and that method must be inside the component not inside the root of the view okay so let's create that change method and here it will return this dot dollar emit 
and now what it's going to emit it's going to emit this input that means the change so input but with this input we have to pass some value also but how will we pass value so like whenever we are using input box we have to use the v model here so let's call v model here so that we can have value here so let's say uh, value c c stands for component that means value of component and as we have def we have to define here because we are using so here and we know that in the component the data has to be a an, an function and it should return some array so it should return value c which is again empty so what we have done we have created input box which having value of v model c so let's just check and when i refresh we have some error i think yeah unknown identifier on 35 oh yeah i have missed out this comma here so let's refresh again and yes you can see this is here so we have created input box we have assigned the value by v model and whenever there is a change in the input box v on input that means whenever something is input on the input box we are calling a method called change and this method is doing nothing but emitting the input event but as we have to grab the data we have to step here value c so whenever there is a input on the input box it will go to this change sorry i have to pass this not here in the function so whenever there is a change in the input of the input box then it will call change method and pass this data so it look like we have to catch it here also and now we have to pass it with this emit okay so dollar emit we are emitting this input event we are em emitting event okay so we have emitted this now it's very simple thing as we have emitted this so we should get everything let, let, let's just see where we are getting these things so i will open this and now open this emits okay let's just see whenever i hit something you can see it's it says input event by sidebar our sidebar component is emitting input named event okay so now we have to get the value we are getting the value actually but how we will connect this component to this outside box so let's go here again and you can see we are emitting this event and the value also but we have to grab these value on our component so instead of this thing i will just simply say v model again here and call it value so we are binding v model to this sidebar which is having these things and this is emitting that event which event input event and for the input we have value c this value will stored on v model value which is defined in the app okay so these things are here let's save this file go here and let's just do one thing on the component delete these j and j okay refresh and yes we have empty on the both side let's say something like b i t f u m e s and everything is synced so you can see it's changing it's emitting event every time you can see here on the event info and it's also let's do all the root and root value is also the same as the sidebar value c having the data so in this way you can emit any kind of event outside the component so that parent can catch that event and do something accordingly so this is the component and in the next episode we are going to see the concept of slot here so that will be very awesome concept and we will 
see this in the next episode till then if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me on youtube and you can message me on facebook and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye